My teeth, god damn it. <laughs> we got three minutes. Can you grab my that little bla- blue Where? thing? It's in the bathroom. The ex- it's just the whole box with the teeth are in there. That's Joe's. Oh, God, you need this. Folks who are listening in, you're hearing silent air. Oh, the New York Post. LeBron James isn't loving life inside the NBA bubble. Oh, Oh, poor baby. I'm not going to say anything in Harry's spot until we get Harry up. I'll just do this. Yes. That's it. All right. I won't say anything. Just this. (laughs) (laughs) For for 10 straight minutes. Oh, Harry can't see me. Yeah. He's he's doing your your signature hand move. Oh, (laughs) yeah. I'm Spock. I'm just like a backup quarterback in this chair, Two, man. Four. I'm just handing the ball off, doing the V signal right here. <laughs> Got two minutes, ladies and gents. Great. Zoom. Boom. And <coughs> Bill. S C H O E N I G. I can spell. I can write. People can read my handwriting. Sure. Zeros. You just don't have the show on. Why is it like? Okay. Can you give this to Joe, please? The only person on Zoom today is Harry and then Joe McGrain. And he's on in the first hour, so. No, he's in the second Second. hour. I'm sorry. No, I'm saying we usually have. I won't be able to hear the guests on the phone, will I? I'm just joking. I don't know. I don't know how that works. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. No, you can hear everything that we can hear. Yeah, but you have headphones on. You're connected to the board. Yes, but you are going to hear all of the sound coming through as one feed to you. Oh. Okay. Don't ask me. I don't know how any of this shit works. eh? (laughs) At least that's the idea. Guess who's on the Adam Schefter podcast? Greeny. No, Mike Golick. Oh. And, and oh. Golick talks about me to Adam Schefter. Oh. He has to. Was that from today? It just posted. I don't know oh. when he did it. but yeah. He wasn't live from his bed. Harry, Harry had to stay and uh, plug, up the, pl- plug up the dike. <laughs> Dikes. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he also had a flood. Yes. <laughs> Boom. 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 All right, oh, tw- we got in 20 in, uh, seconds. <clears throat> okay. What? Here we go. I don't hear anything in my headset. So. Well, I'm just... Just a preview. And... Isn't it about time for somebody's favorite radio program? The Tony Bruno Show. The man chosen to save American radio from its horrible future. He didn't invent radio. He just perfected it. Tony Bruno Show with Harry May. Parental discretion is advised. The godfather of sports radio. It is a final. Here is Tony Bruno. Tony Bruno. Batten down the hatches, everybody. We are safe in the South Philadelphia Wine Center. Neither snow, nor rain, nor sleet, nor tropical storm hurricanes named after Persian leaders. Isaias. Everybody kept saying Isaias with, a, with an S at the end. But it is Isaias. Isaias. Yes. Isaias. If you're scoring at home. And if you are, lots of uh, damage, lots of high winds up and down the eastern seaboard after this hurricane, which is now a tropical depression, made landfall down in the Carolinas, been moving up the coast, and in many places, including the Jersey Shore, Ocean City, Maryland, tornado activity, Ocean City, New Jersey, reports of tornadoes, lots of downed trees, lots of water. Uh, Ryan Rothstein drove in from Atlantic City and made it in. We were concerned because we know, yeah. how, you know, when you're down at the shore and there's a high tide and you got heavy rains coming in that quickly, what happens is 
you know, the streets are all flooded. They will eventually go down as the rain subsides and the tide drops. But you had a lot of that today. But you made it in, Ryan. I made it in somehow, Tone. I mean, I th- made it through the rain. I think Barry Manilow did a song about that. We'll play a block of Barry Manilow later on. <laughs> yeah, so long story short, there's one way in, one way out. I'm right by Atlantic City in Ventnor, right on the, the water there. I mean, it's just one tiny island. And it was flooded, bro. It was bad. But Harry, not yes. by the water, he ends up being flooded worse than I am. But Harry, now we have a live hookup. Harry is not in the wine cellar because he had flooding conditions out in Montgomery County. But he made it safely to the golf course, where, as you can tell by watching on our Twitch stream, Harry Mays is hooked up in a fairway somewhere looking tanned and terrific. And the skies look like they've cleared behind you, Harry. How many holes do you think you can get in today? I think I can probably get a good 27 in today, Tony. <laughs> now, Harry is actually at his house, but yeah. Harry's got the, you know, I think he saw the, he learned this from our good buddy, Michael Bradley, El Hombre, the daily Hombre who knows sports. And you have a good backdrop, and it looks like you're right in the middle of a fairway, Harry, and the sun's shining on your golden dome out there, except you don't have a dome, but it's a good look, Harry. I like it a lot. Well, I'm trying to make everything as realistic as possible, Tony. You <laughs> yeah, know, in right. 2020. I'm not wearing a hat today. I don't have a cap surgically attached to my head. So I figured I'd show a, a little suntan forehead. But we had water coming through the walls. It was from the windows to the walls. I tell you know what runs down my you know what, Harry. But luckily, <laughs> you put your finger in the dike and now everything stopped. Now, have you had it to call the basement though. guys? Have you had to call like. Uh, Serve Pro to come in and suck all the water out of your house and on the carpets and stuff? No, actually, that was my detail. I was up and down the steps with buckets for about three hours today. Not Johnny and, Buckets. Uh, or not, uh, who was the other guy? Uh, uh, Johnny, Dougie Buckets. Dougie, Dougie Buckets. Dougie, Dougie, Dougie McDermott. McDermott. Remember right. Dougie McDermott? Dougie oh, Buckets, Harry? He's dominating yeah. in where, Harry? Where? Where is he dominating now? Oh, was he in China? China. Doug right. McDermott's really? in China? Oh, they're about to build a statue for him, Oh, man. dude, I did not know that. Right this next is great to Starberry. Yeah. Right next to Starberry's. <laughs> 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 How are you getting ready for golf? The PGA Championship this weekend. How is ready for it? Look at that. That's a tremendous. Yeah, no question. I got to get some. A, uh, another one of up. our podcasts uh, very early this morning before the rain actually came. Swing it and ding it, episode seven, and we're all ready to go. Swing it and ding it. Beautiful. I wonder if you were doing the podcast even before I woke up. I was up early, way earlier than normal today. Outrage. Yeah, well, we had an early we had an early uh, tea time, if you will, because we had a uh, a guest on who was actually in a practice round down in Georgia for a tournament, and he was, uh, uh, you know, he was live from the golf course. It was almost like almost as good as Aton. Really? Yeah, almost. Almost. Takes a lot to. uh... Yeah, you can't match Aton's performance live from the golf course. I mean, all Harry needs is a golf club right now. He's basically on the course. Exactly right. Harry's, uh, Harry Mays will be joining us via Zoom. Couldn't make it in. And, of course, we'll have a great lineup today, Harry. The great Gary Radnich out in San Francisco. We had him on once already on the show, but so much is going on on the West Coast. You know, we got mm-hmm. situations going on with, obviously, the Sacramento Kings are still playing they're the only team, obviously the Lakers and the Clippers, but I'm talking about in Northern California. The Kings are still involved. You got the Giants, you got the A's, and uh, a lot of things going on. So we'll get Gary, our West Coast correspondent, to give us an update on what's going on out there. And even the Olympic, not the Olympic, but Harding Park, Harry. I wonder mm-hmm. if Gary will be out there for the PGA Championship. He's a big golf guy, as you know, Harry. Yeah, I mean, I know they're not allowing any fans, but uh, I'm sure he's played out there a few times. I don't think uh, Gary plays golf at all. That's my that was the joke. I don't think Harry's <laughs> oh. Gary's a he's a. Although you know he is out there, so he'll give us weather updates, traffic, and weather heading out to Harding Park for the PGA Championship this weekend. And you know who's going for the three peat, Harry? The Brooks major Kepka. championships. Brooks yep. Kepka. Now will Pat Riley sue if Brooks Kepka says? I got the three-peat in major championships. That's the big question for our legal eagles, which we'll have on later in the week. Well, we got to get Dan Lust on exactly. uh, you know, to uh, dive into that. Exactly right. But we got a lot of stuff. We got daytime action. By the way, uh, baseball, will re- you know, last night, Zion played 25 minutes, Harry. It got some more burst, and it was big for him because they finally won a game that they had to win against the Grizzlies. 23.7 rebounds, five assists, nine for 21. So they got five games left. 
to try to make this happen. Memphis is uh, leaking sort of like your uh, basement, Harry, and your house. Yeah. What is up yeah. with the Memphis Grizzlies? Yeah, they've lost uh, their first three games in the bubble, so they're they're in trouble right now. I think uh, they still have uh, a hold of the eighth seed, but that is tenuous at best. Absolutely, and here's the, here's the other thing. If the 76ers completely collapse, which they almost did again last night, to the San Antonio Spurs, and Bill Schoening, the voice of the Spurs, is going to join us later on in the show, the Sixers almost lost a game that they had in complete... In fact, I turned it off. It was so out of row. I'm watching Patty Mills throw up cheat trees and all these other guys playing, and the Sixers who gave up... How many in the fourth quarter? They gave up... Uh, 43. No, last night, but I'm talking about the first game against the Indiana oh, Pacers. 46. 46 in they the fourth. They gave up 46 yeah. in the fourth quarter, lost in Indy against Indy, and then dropped 43... And if it's not for Shake Milton with a three-pointer with six seconds left, they may lose that game. And it's a huge loss for San Antonio because it really doesn't hurt the Sixers. They're just trying to figure things out. The Spurs win that game. They would only be a game behind Memphis. No, it, so it, it, Tone, three-way tie for the eighth seed in the Western Conference. So the Grizzlies, the Trailblazers, and the Spurs are all 22 games back of the Lakers. That just basically means they're all tied for the eighth spot. So to my knowledge, from what I'm seeing here in the standings, the Spurs beat the Sixers last night. They're in sole possession of exactly. the eighth and final That's playoff why, spot. And nobody thinking about San Antonio's in the mix because, you know, you, you look at the team and they're a nice team and they got pop. But the Sixers blow that game last night. Sacramento against the uh, San Antonio Spurs. Now, they're in the Western Conference. The Sixers are just trying to figure stuff out. And I told you guys oh. yesterday, the Shake Milton bad first game didn't really matter. Again, is he a great point guard? No, he's a serviceable guy, and they're just trying to get things figured out. And that's what I, I, I tweeted this last night, Harry, about the NBA playoffs. You know, there's a lot of teams where they're just trying to figure things out. These games don't count. It's not like if you lose a game, you're done, except at the bottom. The bottom feeders down there, especially in the East, I mean, the East is a joke. All those teams still playing, although the Nets, I understand, are playing pretty well. The Brooklyn yeah, Nets are still up right on now. the Milwaukee Bucks in the yeah, third quarter high. of that game. So at least the Mil at least the Brooklyn Nets, whoever's there for them, is showing up. But the bottom line is the Nets aren't going anywhere. And you look around, and Sacramento and Dallas are playing right now. And so we'll keep an eye on that. But there are some teams that are just trying to figure things out. It's like in hockey. The New York Rangers face elimination tonight. The first team in the NHL reboot, and they're down two games to none, and they got to win tonight or they're done. The New York Islanders lost already today, Harry, and they're the down Islanders two won. games to none. And so The Islanders won. The Islanders won. I'm saying the Islanders yeah. are up two games to none, and yeah. you're Florida Panther uh, on the verge of elimination. And what's interesting to note here, as Vin Scully would say if he were doing hockey, <laughs> since they uh, – in, in the in – the, History of best-of-five series in the NHL, which they haven't played in a long time, but because of this year with this elimination round, in the history of it, the team that goes up two games to none is 51-1 and one when they go up two games to none. And since there's no home ice, uh, the situation gets even worse because the team that's trailing two games to none doesn't have any kind of extra juice with the home fans involved, even though they pump in noise. So the Rangers are in deep trouble. The Islanders are in deep trouble. And the other teams playing today, Harry, that could be in trouble, you've got uh, Nashville. Nashville trails one nothing to Arizona. They, uh, Nashville Predators in a spot where they have to win that game tonight or go down 2 nothing. Toronto uh, down to Columbus, the 9-seed, 8-seed matchup. And Columbus is up one nothing. So Toronto almost in a must-win tonight. And Vancouver and the Minnesota Timberwolves, a late game at 10.45 tonight. The Timberwolves are up one game to none on the Canucks. So some big games in game two. The team that takes the lead in a best of five always has the upper hand. So we'll keep an eye on, on that, what's going on. A lot of baseball, Harry. And we would like to thank the Philadelphia Phillies for participating and the St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> Because now, of course, they've Heck of got... a season. And by the way, speaking of the Cardinals, Joe McGrain, one of the all-time great left-handers in Cardinal history, Harry, as you well remember back in the day. Oh, yeah. Joe McGrain will join us coming up in the second hour. And he played for the Cardinals. I want to ask him where he would go if he were playing right now to go get some Rona if he was on the road and, you know, wanting to go out maybe to a casino. And you saw the latest St. Louis Cardinal who came out and said, yes, he also has it, Yadier Molina. Nine-time All-Star catcher says, yes, I have the coronavirus too, and he's in quarantine, and he says he feels okay. So we keep watching this stuff. The Cardinals have only played five games. The Phillies have only played four games so far, and the Phillies last night 
people are saying, well, you know, that was a pretty good effort by Jake Arrieta, Harry. He only gave up three runs in five something yeah. innings, and then the bullpen came, run. and then the bullpen came in and gave up another three run homer, and the Phillies are now one and three. Well, how about the standings in the NL East? Yes, the Miami Marlins, Harry, sitting very comfortably at two and one now in the <laughs> National League East. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, They're putting that thing in cruise. As control. long as they can have games postponed or maybe play the Phillies a few more times, they could run away with this division because of the Atlanta Braves lose their ace last night. Did you see that situation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he what tore his Achilles, I believe. Mike right? Soroka, who is their ace, he's only he's twenty three years old today. Is his twenty third birthday? He's out yeah. there last night against the Mets. The Mets are actually torching him, which is unusual because the Mets have Behind been terrible. Jacob Degrom, exactly right. And so he goes out to ground. He pitches. The ball hit back to the uh, to first base. He goes over to cover as he's leaving home. Pl- as he's getting off the mound to make his move to first base to cover the base. He actually one step in, collapses, and he you can hear him scream as he tears his Achilles. And he is uh, done for the year. And that's a huge loss for the Atlanta Braves, Harry, who obviously look like the best team of the division right now with the Nationals struggling. They lost some players. And so this National League East is wide open right now. And the Phillies at 1-3 and three are letting this thing get away from them. And now they have a doubleheader. The game today has been postponed, so the Phillies and Yankees will play a doubleheader tomorrow here in Excellent. Philadelphia. Correct. Yeah. So they were supposed right. to play today. People are saying, why didn't they play a doubleheader yesterday? Uh, because I guess they had it planned to be a doff day today if they got rain yesterday. But everybody knew it was going to rain today. Everybody right. knew the hurricane was coming, Harry. What the hell's yeah, going cool. on out there? It's crazy, but you talk about the you know the Braves. They DFA'd Fultonavich about a week ago. One of their other pitchers who had an awful outing. You know what do they do? They go they go back and, and sign him. They need they need to put somebody in there. That's a huge loss. For Absolutely. Them. When you lose your Arietta ace, was okay last night. Gave up two home runs. But this Marlins thing, they're two and one. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like they played a three game series to get a two week bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, based off winning percentage, they can just hang it up and ride the wave. But you know, one thing you can say about Philadelphia, this is the only team in baseball that stuck on one win, Harry. Through a week and a half into the season. That's how crazy, crazy these things are. But anyway, we got a lot of good stuff. Gary Radnich is going to join us next from San Francisco. And then Joe McGrain later and the voice of your San Antonio Spurs, Bill Schoening. We'll talk NBA with him. He called that game last night out on the Spurs radio network. And a longtime friend of the show and a good guy. So a lot of stuff to cover today. Tony, Harry at, at a golf course, a uh, virtual <laughs> golf course. Ryan Rothstein in here, Miss Robin, Joe C. It is a Tuesday, a Tornado Tuesday here. Tony Bruno and the whole gang, Sirius XM 211, and on twitch.tv slash Tony Bruno Show. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Hello, Twitchy folks. Uh, I see that we have a nice full room. For those of you who are not watching on Twitch, that you are seeing the video elsewhere, so you're watching it on YouTube, Periscope, and Facebook. Um, They limit us on what we can play on there. They have us uh, shortened, and we can't play any of the music. They tag us. So if you are watching on any of those, YouTube, Periscope, or Facebook, and you want to see the full show, make sure you make the switch to Twitch right now because we're going to have to say goodbye to you. You still will be able to, on YouTube, get the highlights of the show um but you won't be able to get the full show with all of the um chat room so go to twitch.tv it's a free app you can download it um and log on to tony bruno show just click on the little purple heart and follow the show so that you can catch it every single day and um you will be part of the bruno familia and Wave goodbye, Tony. And we hope to see you on the Twitch side.